Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thanks for my viewers and the subscribers to my channel. I am there as pro boxer. I just wanted to enter a you guys today with one of my boxing fight uh, so that you can naturally see what I did for a living before. Like you all know, everything that has a beginning must surely definitely have an end. I did actually box for a living. I was a professional athlete. I represented my country, West Africa, and uh, all the way to World Boxing Championship and uh, all of them. And uh, coming over to Canada about 18 years plus ago, I turned pro here in Canada and I actually won the North American Boxing Championship in lightweight for Canada. So as I right now, I'm not currently fighting any longer, but I'm just going to the gym to have the kids out in the gym and also to encourage people out there that irrespective of your age, your gender, if you really want to stay in shape, you can actually do something. I'm no longer fighting. I'm retired, but never tired. So I'm just doing a YouTube channel every Saturday at home to show all you are there that say you can't afford a gym membership or you ain't got no time to go to the gym, but you want to stay healthy. So I'm just doing my YouTube channel here every Saturday at home to show you that you can actually stay healthy even if you can't afford a gym membership or go to the gym. Okay, so my channel is just basically to help people out there to share that you can actually work out at home in your little space in your comfort and still gain a lot. Highly metabolism indoor training is what I do. Uh, but today I just wanted to entertain you guys with one of my boxing tape so you all can see one of my days of victories in my life. So you can actually know your YouTuber presenter. There are a lot of YouTubers out there, but again, we all have classics. I was an athlete before, now I'm no longer fighting, 40 years and above. But I just like to stay healthy and help people out there also to show them that you can actually do what you love doing, irrespective of your age. So please stay tuned, relax, lay back, and enjoy this fight. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you all think about it. Thank you, and love ya. When he came to Canada, he already had 85 amateur fights. He was the West African champ. Uh, he fought such guys in the amateur, such as Joel Casamayor. And that is just my opponent right now in the ring. A good puncher. And I'm on my way the coming into uh, the ring. Very happy to be in Canada. No yeah, they are just doing my introduction and he said he's looking for while I'm looking for my way down to the ring. To chase down the uh, this very fight, we are both undefeated uh, boxers, but one has to go home with a zero le record. So I was the the champ, I won the fight. But uh, stay tuned and enjoy this fight. And that is me. I've just walked into the ring. I used to be pretty skinny. I used to be fighting the 135 pounder. Yeah, that is the way that I fought in. 125 pound, lightweight. Ladies and gentlemen, our fourth bout of the evening features six rounds in the lightweight division. This match also features two undefeated, unbeaten boxers. Two undefeated at the time. William Warwick Jr. The one has to stay zero. And can run. Your referee, Paul Letty. Introducing to you first, in the blue corner, he hails from Austin, Texas. My opponent was from Texas. And is wearing green trunks. His pro and Mexican. Two victories, both coming by way of Mexican Mexico. fighters Please pretty tough. Like you all know, for those that know about boxing, Bravo. Mexican boys are really, really tough. You all can see what happened to Anthony Joshua and John Ruiz. Irrespective of their shape, how they look, never underrate them. And that is me. Days of victory, baby. Julius Odeon out of Calgary in the red and black trunks and Eddie Villalobos of Boston, Texas in the green trunks with the black trick. All let do, third man in the ring.
This one is a white wing. Division Nasher. Austin, Texas, backs out of the way of the bunch, he's in the green fronts. And he is quick. Both fighters are in real good shape, don't they? Very good shape. Oh! You can list into the sound of the punches. Bill Lomo snuck a left hand, then he got it on the jaw, in the Soviet. Not taking Bill Lomo's light at all. He's actually the sparring partner for Jesus Chavez, who's a world, world type of boxer. Bill Lomo from the Korea Punch has only had up along the ropes here. One minute into the oh. second round. Oh, I caught him with the left one. So he got right to the head of Bill Lomo. And that's a punch that's usually not seen from a southpaw. A left hook, that's not heard of. Straight left hand. Yeah, I know. Left He's left a Mexican left. kid. Another really tough kid. I hit him hard with all I got. The kids refused to go for a nap. Well, however, though, I broke his jaw. After the fight, he was uh, admitted at the hospital here. Very good hands Julius has. No love This is the right hand. Right to the head thrown by Odia. Yeah, he went low. Lost his balance. 145. Here, round number two. 145 gone. Left and right to the body thrown by Odia. The Lobos on the left. He can connect him up to the head. What are you doing a nice job here in the second round? Trying to cut the ring down on Odia Lobos. I think it's a little easier for him being southpaw because his right foot is always in front yeah, of him. Yeah, my opponent is bleeding already because you all know as a cypher, I'm a left-hander. It's not right easy to fight a cypher. Julius. About 30 seconds here or there, approximately left to go here in round number two. Bill Lobos with a stupid right hand that he missed with. Odia throws a left right combination. Throws another left to the side of the head by Odia. Left cross the net there. He came down to the right, got it to the head. A right hand to the body. There's Villa Lobos. Less than 10 seconds to go in the round. And at the bottom, a right hand thrown by Julius Odia. The two rounds have been completed. Eddie Villalobos and Julius Odeon. Yeah, that is my opponent. He's a Mexican kid. Following the intermission break, light heavyweight fight. And that is me. The ladies will get at him and the junior. And my trainers. And a couple of bomb throwers will do good out. Scheduled for eight rounds. The cruiserweights, James Cermak and Ryan Kenny. Let me take a look at the left here. By Eddie Villalobos. Good. Right to the head of Julius Odeon. Yeah, one of the few left hooks that is actually landing for him. He's going to have to adapt a little bit in the corner there and start throwing some more right hands. It's the only way to beat him. Third round. It's coming right on. Right I'm going to stop the recording from the third round and then show the, the declaration of the fight. Because I wouldn't want to stay uh, for all rounds. It's going to be too long. So after the end of the third round, I'm going to stop the recording and then show the declaration of the fight, which I won the fight at night anyway. Seems that Bazooka's got a little more power than Villa Lobos. Just a discrepancy of one pound in the official way in. Julius Odeon, 137, Eddie, Eddie Villa Lobos. And 136. Yeah, I weighed 137 <clears throat> and he weighed 136. But anyway, we are allowed to go over one pound. The limit was 136, but I weighed 137. So right. one pound is allowed. Oh. One minute away here in the third round. Both have 
have a really good defense. Yes, they do. Not throwing caution to the wind, hands down. Only over the right half, but didn't get through. I would have thought that Julius would have went after that cut a little bit more. Yeah. You all can sit down there, comment at us, and just make comment. But if you're in the ring, you will know what I'm going through. I'm trying to hit him, but the boy is good. So, yeah. A good body shirt there. It is a really close fight, but I was leading. Good left hook. Good right hook. I broke his jaw. Right there. He refused to go for it now. You all watch my combo coming up. Oh! I was hitting him hard. Really big punches that we're throwing. Left to the right, thrown by Odeon here in the dying second of round number three. <laughs> you all can see the combo there. Six, seven, eight punches troll at him. But the kids were strong. I know, he is a strong Mexican. You never underestimate Mexican fighters. Like I said, you all saw what happened to Anthony Joshua with John Ruiz Jr. Never underestimate them how they look, their shape or the body size. I tried taking him out, but unfortunately, he stood by me all night. But however, I won the fight. It was a sixth round fight. I won after the end of the sixth round. So here is the third round. I'm going to pause it, and then I'm going to go back to the declaration round after the end of the sixth round. So you all can actually see that I won the fight that night. This is the sixth and the final round. Less than a minute to go here in the sixth round. Eddie Villalobos taking those headshots all night. Look at him, alert. Here he took another one, a glass of blood oh, right side of the head. The body shots thrown at Villalobos. We were both exhausted Ooh, high. But, uh, yeah. Three professional wins under his belt. Throws a combination in the center of the ring. About 30 seconds to go here in the sixth and final round. Of a real good, lightweight matchup here this evening. And the Lobos tries to land a right and left, can't do so. That must be about 15 seconds to go. And the Lobos with the left of the body, misses with the right. Bleeding again on the side of his head, and that does it. That's a good play. That is the end of the round. Eddie Villalobos, a concrete jaw in the ground. So we'll have to wait for the scoring decision here in the score fight. After that, of course, we're going to take the intermission. We'll take a look at Gloria Ponce's throw there. That's only in the red and black trucks. Throws another throw, a big left hand there. And Villalobos. Great ball. Really great ball. If you were looking for a ball like the last one, it's not going to happen. This is a really technical, good boxer. Really good boxing. Some of the fans don't like this kind of boxing. It's not enough action. The other ones like water type ball. Right. This was a technically good fight. That's right. There you see Julius Ogden. They fought a big with guards and Ali would let Chevelle have a hammer at him in the lower body, the lower part of the upper body. Well, years later, I did a TV show with Muhammad Ali, and afterwards we were done. 
He told us that his stomach hurt for about three weeks after that. He said, if anybody said, told him that Chicago couldn't punch her, he told him to leave him. <laughs> First year, 100%, especially the way that he gave it to him. And he's got such a good chin, actually too good for his own bed. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. Judge William Warner Jr. scores at 59-55. Judge Usman Ali scores at 59-55. And Judge Ken Rudd scores at 58-56. All for the winner by a unanimous decision, Julius Ali! Yeah! I won the fight. I was still undefeated. For Julius Odiani, he went simple well he should, and Eddie Villalobos has nothing to hang his head about. No, sir, no, sir. I think he should work on a little bit more power. Maybe he didn't know that this kid was a southpaw. Maybe he prepared for just an orthodox boxer. But he's... Ladies and gentlemen, that was the declaration of the fight. Please like, share, view, and subscribe to my channel. As Pro Boxer Channel. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you want to see next time. It's your boy Jay Ezo. I am the As Pro Boxer, the As Pro Boxer Channel. Please subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Bye bye.